The individual that would work well for me would definitely be rambunctious, would, would be sporadic. I'm queer, so I'm definitely all about every person. I'm an equal opportunity dater. I'm attracted to funny people, like I'm attracted to genuine people. Smarty pantses, and they like to read books. That's my shit, like I love that. Your name is Debbie, and this is your story. You are 25 years old. For work, you are a fashion industry professional. Uh, you grew up in Atlanta. Your cultural or ethnicity background is black. Don't know exactly where to pin that down to. My name is Danielle, and I'm 28 years old. For work, I'm a flight attendant. I grew up in Mount Vernon, New York, and in Huntersville, North Carolina. And my cultural slash ethnic background is black, from Jamaica. Okay, all right. <laughs> your name is Jay, and this is your story. <laughs> you are 26 years old. For work, you are a programmer. You grew up in Virginia, and your cultural or ethnic background is black, perhaps with some Creole sprinkled in there. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually 25. I'm a graphic designer and social media manager. I actually grew up in South Jersey. Yeah, like kind of like 20 minutes out of like Atlantic City. Cool, kind of okay. area. Yeah, I'm actually black and, yeah. Actually black. Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, you'd be shocked to believe that. <laughs> but actually, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Jamaican and Creole. Oh, dope, yeah. okay. So, hey, what's going on? What's up, fam? <laughs> what's, your, what's your name? My name is Ollie. Ollie. Or Oliver. Oliver, okay. Very cool. Debbie? I do. <laughs> it's the bangs, huh? I, do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, at first it was like Deborah, but I was like, oh, that's too. <laughs> Debbie kind of seemed like a. Like a safe. Like a safe. A safe, yeah. In my profession, like the first time I meet like the captain and the crew, they're always like, okay, well, let me break this down for you. You know, so it's a lot of assumption that I don't know what I'm doing. People sometimes assume that I'm really spacey, and I think it's because I look really like young. The crazy thing about social media is that it's such a new age method of marketing. When a young person with Ray-Bans walks in a room and says, I'm gonna manage your Facebook, they're just like, are you sure? And you kind of have to prove it. Be like, no, it's, it's actually a viable use of marketing. Please trust me, I have results. Your favorite emoji is a laughing with tears emoji. And your favorite book of all time is something poetic. <laughs> Best thing about social media is friendship. My favorite emoji is the drooly face, because I'm always hungry. Um, <laughs> my favorite book of all time is 100 Years of Solitude, which is poetic. Um, are you a Marquez fan? Do you like... Oh, right, okay. For me, the best thing about social media is following my favorite artists. You, <clears throat> your favorite emoji is the flames emoji. Fuego emoji. Fuego! <laughs> 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 Your favorite book of all time is Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. Um, for you, the best thing about social media is instant news. My favorite emoji is actually the star emoji. But fuego, that is hot, so like... <laughs> my favorite book of all time... I'm not a huge reader. Mm -hmm. And so it was just, mm -hmm. I was just racking my brain like, man, I just com seem completely ignorant. Oh, man. The best thing about social media is keeping up with my friends. Because I I moved over here about a year ago, so it's not as easy for me to keep up with friends anymore. Do you get to see them ever? Like I, I used to work within the music community, so there'll be a lot of shows going on say. down there. I still try to make it a point to go out to some of their shows when I get a chance and stuff like that. Okay, dope. For you, it seems like family is kind of like a big thing to you. Like I know you said you had your mom on social media, but like you also kind of like keep up with your grandparents as well. I'd venture to say like they're like my best friends. 
in a lot of ways. They have so much wisdom and they're just like funny. They don't care what anybody thinks and I just want to be that right now. And it took them like living their lives to <laughs> be like, whatever, I don't care. Yeah. You know, they're just, they're just good people. That's awesome. Yeah, and they cook for me, so it's good. Yo, food's always good though. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Like <laughs> That's my favorite. My mother remarried when I was about five or six. And they have a lot of fun. Like they like still chase each other around the house. And when it comes down to it, if they need somebody to, to lift them up, that person is there. I've always wanted that in my relationships because it seems to me like they're each other's like escape from the bullshit of the world. The individuals that I look to are definitely my parents. They actually met in New York City. One day my dad had walked up to my mom with kind of like a Will Smith charm and was like, so you want to go on a date? And my mother was like, uh, no. But it ended up really growing into a beautiful relationship. And it's kind of something that I would love to emulate in a relationship going forward. When you die, you believe we'll that you will die with no afterlife. At your funeral, you would want everybody to sing, like a big choir. And of all the people who you know that have died, the ones whose death was hardest for you was your grandfather, perhaps? You were right about when I die, I believe that I will die. Mm. Just like, that it. <laughs> um, at my funeral, I just put, just throw me in an urn. But, <laughs> but, but the choir hum, like that's instantly changed. I want like, <laughs> Sparklers going off, full choir. Oh, absolutely. And of all the people who I know that have died, um, the one that was hardest for me was my grandfather, actually. Well, you guys were pretty close. Well, they, they lived on Long Island and I lived in Jersey and we would talk on the phone with them. Hey, how's it going? Are you behaving? Are you doing well? That's great, I love you. All right, here's your grandmother. It's his stoicness that I kind of was able to develop my own kind of like, you know, stoic strong kind of yeah. mentality. So when he did pass away, I was like, yeah. That's so. hard. Let's get into your death. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, when you die, you believe that you will become a free spirit. You want to be cremated. I didn't think of any other, and of all the people who you have known that have died. The one that was hardest for you was also a fa family member. Mm -hmm. I didn't know exactly who to pick from, but I figured that like since family was potentially a big thing for <laughs> <laughs> for, for you, I figured that any one of them passing away would definitely be a heavy blow too. Mm -hmm. When I die, um, I believe actually believe in reincarnation. I definitely want to come back as like an albatross or something, you know, like like huge. Um, and then at my funeral, I would want a huge choir to sing. I don't know if I'd want to be cremated though. Of all the people who I know that have died, the one whose death was hardest for me was my paternal grandfather. I, before he passed away, like I went and visited him in the hospital and like he like opened up and was telling me all about his life as a kid and like growing up and like you, you were talking about how your grandfather would be like, are you doing well in school? Like, are you okay? It was that kind of relationship. So to hear him like, talk about himself. It was just wild. It was like crazy and then he passed and I was like, no! <laughs> yeah. Come back. Yeah. Ollie. So when I first saw you, I decided that I would date you. And through our conversations, I decided that I would still date you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, so when we first spoke, I decided I would date you. And then through all the conversation in which we had, I decided that I would still date you. Yeah. So you get a date. <laughs> we get a date. Everybody gets, gets a date. <laughs> I hope do you so. Like, do you like gelato? I don't think I've had gelato in like a while. I know a place. You, you got a guy for gelato? I got I got a guy for gelato. <laughs> I got my gelato dealer. <laughs> gelato dealer. <laughs> he like shows up with like a He's knapsack. Knapsack. Not even a suitcase. Tell her I got. <laughs> 
go get some gelato. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Let's do this. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sweets and stuff. Sweets. <laughs> Full pancake.